Morning, Andrew. It's Sunday. Seeing that I have very little free time this semester, I am going to work on two things at once, so I will be holding my laundry while I talk to you today. Work and school has pretty much been everything, although I finally had pho again for the second time in my life last night. I had leftovers of it today. Other than that, in my sci-fi and fantasy lit class, we had to read Ursula Le Guin's A Wizard of Earthsea, which is a very important book in the genre. Uh, it's from the late 60s, early 70s, something like that, I don't know. Uh, it's won awards and stuff like that. I'd just like to say that I was kind of disappointed in it, because before reading it, we read an article written by the author within like the last decade, and it was somewhat in response to Harry Potter. And she was upset at how popular Harry Potter was, essentially, <laughs> but also upset that so many reviewers considered J.K. Rowling to be original in her idea of a wizard going to wizard school, where she wrote about a wizard going to wizard school. So I thought, oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be sort of like Harry Potter. It wasn't all that great, in my opinion, and only two chapters talked about the wizarding school. So that was a bit of a letdown. And the only real thing about the school is that it's kind of strange to get in and get out of, like when you first enter the school, or you have to give your, your real name, because all the magic in this book is based on knowing the names of things, the true names. Uh, and then to leave, you have to know the doorkeeper's true name. And other than that, the only thing that they talk about in the school are a couple of the other students, one of whom is the main character's friend, the other is like his enemy, and then they talk about a few of the masters who teach them some stuff. I was also kind of disappointed because, like Harry Potter, I can laugh, I can cry, I can enjoy myself. This, the emotional depth just kind of hovers about here. No, no really exciting, no really sad. All, all right about here. But I still am glad that I read it. It's important to the genre. And apparently there are six books in the series. They're not terribly long, but they're written like high fantasy. There's not really any comedy in them, but it, it's an interesting concept. It's very different from, from Harry Potter. Just not my style though. But now we are reading Kraken. That's a fun book. Partially because it's so British, probably. But yeah, I'm about two-thirds of the way done with that one, and it has to do with cults and different gods and the apocalypse that's gonna come, and I'm excited to see how that turns out. Um, I hope you enjoyed me folding my laundry, and I will see you next week. And I can't remember if I hit the record button. Please say I hit the record button. I did it all in one shot.